Hello and welcome back to another Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to we look up when there are multiple instances of the same value in the lookup data set. For example, we have John on two instances here that we want to look up values for. And in our data set, you can see John is on row 2 and he is again repeated on row 12 where the value is different for the return. So if I run my regular VLOOKUP here, it will only get me the first instance. The second instance will not be considered or taken into account. Let us take a look. I type in VLOOKUP, look up for this value under this table, get me the second column. It should be an exact match. So for that I will enter zero close the bracket and press enter. So I have my first instance return. Now if I drag this down, this one should say first John, but it says second John because it is not taking this one into consideration. The VLOOKUP is stopping execution right at this point and it is not going any further down the data set. So how do I make it go down the data set and consider the second one? Let us take a look. Let me get rid of this VLOOKUPs. Now to make VLOOKUP go down to the second instance we will have to do a little trick. For that we will insert a column right before our lookup values that is in the column A we will right click on the column A click on insert. This will insert a blank column. I will expand this column a bit. We can call it anything. This is going to be a temporary until we are done with the lookup. So I will just call it temp. And now here in my temp column, what I want to do is I want to take a counter of this set of data here. For that, what I would do is I will type in equal to count if that's the function I require. And I want this range to be counted with the lock on the last cell. I don't want it to go down. So I will lock my last cell. I want the first reference that is B2 to go down on B3 to B17, B4 to B17 so that my first values are not taken into account when the new counter is being calculated. Let me show you what happens when I do this. I will press comma, select this value. If the value of B2 is found in the range of B2 to B17, count it. So it says, okay, it's two. Now if I drag this down, see what happens. It says count from B3 to B17. Now if I drag this further down, it is counting from B4 to B17. We are trying to move the selection from the upper part. So if I drag this down till this point, for example, you can see it is counting from B12 to B17. So that's how I am omitting the first counter of the John. So that is not considered. So I'm able to get the unique counters for the Johns on that list or other repeated values. So I will just drag this completely. Now I have the counters. So what I would do is in my first cell, I will take away this counter and instead I will say this value and my counter value so that I can concatenate both of them. So I will just drag this down. Now I have a unique key that I can use to do a VLOOKUP. Now here on this cell, I will do a VLOOKUP in a similar fashion. How I counted my values here, I will do that counter inside the VLOOKUP. Before I do that, I will just run that counter here for your reference. So it's going to be count, count if, in this range so we need to lock this down the second part and in this range I want it to count this one close and if I just drag this down you can see my counters are properly taken into account so I will just copy this function so that I could use that in my view lookup here now let me just the width of this one. I will go ahead and type in equal to VLOOKUP. Now what is the value I want to look? 
I want to look for the value which is this and the counter value so that I can have a unique identifier comma where do I look I want it to look under this table and get me the third value that is the third column value then I want it to be accurate so I will enter 0 close the bracket and press enter now I have my second John in place now what happens if I drag this down will I get the first John that is this value let's see let me drag this down there we go it worked so even if the values are repeated multiple times this trick is going to work perfectly for you now let us try the same trick here and get the employee IDs just for the uh, practice so here we go equal to what we need is we look up we look up of this value and we are concatenating the counter so that it could match with our identifier so I still have that value in my clipboard so I will paste it enter comma where do I want to look I want to look in this table and this time I want it to get me the fourth column insert zero close the bracket and press enter and now if I drag this down I will have the employee ID of second John is 011 and the first John is uh, here we go 021 and 021 there we go so it worked perfectly I hope you find this useful in your data sets and in your Excel projects practice as much as you can the more you practice the more you will retain you can download this workbook from the link in the video description you can clear these VLOOKUPs and practice on the same sheet or you can go ahead and use the do it sheet on this workbook and practice there the more you're going to practice it's going to be more easy for you to remember and retain this learning in the next episode we will explore more dimensions of Excel stay tuned if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications thank you for watching stay happy stay lovely until next time